Hey guys, today I want to take you to one of my favorite places on earth and this is Monument Valley. We're gonna explore the beautiful trails and nature that this place has. We're gonna go to some of the iconic locations where many Western movies and contemporary movies have been shot. So there's many movies that are set here in Monument Valley. Uh, some of them you may know, Forrest Gump. Uh, it has this moment where he's running uh, across the US and he is about to make it, you know, he's in in Monument Valley in the middle of the road and he decides to turn back and everybody's following him and everybody gets like, you know, surprised by it. So we actually shot some some scenes right there. You can see us, you know, like going right there, walking that last path. I'd say there's more striking view. It's the view of the three sisters and that's John Ford's uh, view that was more striking than Forrest Gump's. This is what Hollywood uh, expects or made it to be the backdrop of all the Western movies. And that all started with John Wayne. Now, John Wayne filmed many movies here, but he made this place famous for that, for that matter. And the point that it's named after him, uh, it's the John Wayne's point. It's literally over there, so really close to here, and literally the same views as you are seeing right now. This backdrop right here, it's what's iconic, and what you can see even, you know, depicted in uh, movies like uh, Back to the Future Part Three, where Marty McFly literally comes, not right here, but down there, you know, uh, in the valley, and he lands with that car, the time machine, and basically gets, uh, you know, they're all, all of the Native Americans just like trying to, you know, chase him. And it's just an iconic scene. There's many more movies uh, that are uh, set here. Many uh, contemporary movies uh, from Transformers, Age of, Ex of Extinction. There's a scene there. There's also a scene in Fantastic Beasts. I think the Thunderbolt, I think it's called, the, the big bird, it's flying over 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 Monument Valley, so that's pretty cool. Um, even Lego, the movie, had a version made of Legos of Monument Valley. Uh, Rango. I feel, oh, Rango, yeah, 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 yeah. Rango also based here. 2001 Space Odyssey was, what, was one striking one, because I didn't even know, but they just changed the colors of the planet, you know, Stanley Kubrick, so um, there's this out of this world planet, and it's based on, on, on Monument Valley. So it's Monument Valley with just different colors. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, but I'm not surprised that, you know, they based another planet on this because this is just insane. There's so many beautiful spots in Monument Valley and one way to track them all is to do some research and for that you'll need internet. And the, re the way that I, that I get internet here in the US is thanks to Olafly. That's my sponsor and it's an eSIM. You can get unlimited data and you'll stay connected everywhere you go. Even here, you know, the data it hasn't been the best because it's really, really, you know, remote. But in some points, I'm surprised that I've been able to upload a YouTube video that I've been trying to, you know, in many places. And here I found data. So, you know, the good thing about Olafly is it connects to the best network available at all times. They have uh, these plans, not only in the US, but in these many countries. And you can use my discount code Friends and Road to get unlimited data anywhere you go. Actually, the John Wayne point and the one that we are staying at it's the most magical view that you can get. So if you stay here, you'll be able to finish on the sunset and enjoy this beautiful backdrop that it's, you know, priceless to see. We, we stayed on our van, which we've been traveling with for the 
past uh, two weeks all around the southwest of the US and we parked literally with these views up front. And guys, look at the views. <laughs> Insane! Woo! Monument Valley. Woke up with those views and it was just magical. It's 5.50, we were supposed to wake up at like 6, but I was like, wait, 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 Martin, Martin. <laughs> and I was like, look outside, like look what's out there and look at this view. So, so we made it to Gooseneck and it was this, you know, crazy river with twists and turns and you know, we could see how erosion had made this canyon and it was just incredible. It was super hot. We took some photos. We were there doing a little bit of hiking. To be honest, it was extremely hot. If you guys come on the summer, just know that it can get over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that's crazy. You know, we had to go cool off on the van but honestly, it was so worth it. You just paid the five dollars for the for the entrance, and apparently, there's a million dollar views. Point. We paid five, so I guess it's gonna be worth it. Let's see this million views. Martin is already there. Wow! Oh, it's it's crazy. This is Kuznick, and. You know, it's insane. You have to pay five dollars to get here, but it's honestly so worth it. But as you can see, in my back, you know, crazy river, uh, literally, you know, going all around like this, and it doesn't look like the most, like the best river to swim at, but it looks pretty cool, okay? <laughs> and and yeah, just the rock formations and everything, it's crazy. Just like everything on this area, it's just insane. Okay, guys, we're we found the hike here, so we're gonna go down. <laughs> then we went um, and passed this place called the Mexican Hut. It's just a funny rock, you know, it looks like a hat. Honestly, it's not the best, you know, it's the most striking thing, and a lot of people have put it on their list to things to do, but yeah, it's fine, but we moved on. <laughs> so, this area it's Navajo Nation, which means the Navajo Nati Native Americans are the ones who control the land and who live in this area so there we've seen actually some of the traditional ways where uh, of how they live we are in a souvenir store and there's all kinds of native native american souvenirs and you know this is the land of the Navajo uh, so uh, so these are all the souvenirs that you can get from the native americans yes. The houses are just embedded in nature, you know, really integrated with nature. Over there, you can see whole villages uh, where the Navajo uh, people live at. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, give a like, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure.